Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks he'd never know. And then one day, the package found me. Thousands died. Five square blocks smashed into rubble. And at the center was me. Alive. I changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Back then, Empire City was in quarantine. It had gone to hell. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all. Find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. But in the end, I found the man responsible. Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A beast is coming. A monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. A month later, I met Lucy Quo. She somehow knew all about the beast. In fact, she had come to help me prepare. Claimed her friend Dr. Wolf had worked on the Racefear prototype and that he could amplify my powers. All I had to do was go with her down to Numeray. I need those powers. The beast is coming. And I will be ready. Man, I tell you, Cole, that Agent Quo, she doesn't mess around, huh? First bullet out of town? Chick's got some connections. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in, I'm gonna get some new powers, and then we're gonna come right back. Come on, man, you deserve to relax. We're going to New Marais. Hey, I need to be back here and ready when it shows up, Zeke. Trust me, Cole, you will be ready when you're done working with Dr. Wolf. Work? Easy, Quo. When we get there, we're gonna be about the three Bs. That's beer, mm -hmm. boobs, and mechanical bullets. Gentlemen, I don't think that you understand the scope of what is going on here. What is going on? What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and together we're about to become superheroes. But first I want to let you know that I am running a little giveaway here. I'm going to be giving away a brand new factory sealed copy of Infamous 2. All you got to do to enter is like the video, favorite the video, and comment on the video and make it a interesting comment. Something about the game, what your favorite part of this first episode was. Don't just write me and say, I want the game! Or, I mean, if you want to do that, okay, but, but no spam, please. One entry per person, otherwise you will be disqualified. Comment, like... Favorite this video, add it to your favorites, part one, and we will announce the winner in a couple days. Right now, though, we've got a city to save. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna blast this up. I think we start off pretty powered up here. Yeah, definitely. Uh-oh, these guys are leaving. And we're entering the center of disaster. Go face the beast. Buses flying, boats burning, insanity brewing. This is no good at all. Looks like it's got quite the uh, graphical improvement in the first game. The perspective's different as well, at least for this opening bit here. I really enjoyed Infamous 1. And there is a gigantic beast. Holy cow, you see that Titan thing? Oh, you have to stop him. Holy god. Shoot this. Okay, we'll shoot this guy from here. Boom. Eat my dust. Right here, man. Uh oh. Go 
Holy crap, where's the Cola King? I'm not gonna let it happen. Where's the Cola King when you need him to save you? This guy is ginormous. They got a new new model and a new voice actor for Cole, so he's a little bit different than you may remember if you played in this one. We're gonna just keep apparently thrashing this guy with lightning as he decimates our lives with fire. Not very nice. Fire, lightning. I think we made him angry. Oh my god. No, holy crap! Flying in the air, oh yes. Back on the ground. Flying through the air to take this guy out as we're almost dead here. Strongest beast ever. Dude. Where you at, buddy? Beast. There he is. Okay. I guess we just keep melting away and pray. Where's Superman when you need him? You just lift this guy up and throw him. Throw him out of the world. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if there's any way to, to dodge attacks. He's kind of wrecking us here. There we go. How do you like that? Took out a piece of his forehead. <laughs> More, I say, more! Oh, we like this electricity. Now, give him everything you got! Uh oh, Iconic Storm, or Ionic Storm, rather. Get angry, Cole. Coming. We're coming back. I don't like that beast guy at all. He's dry frickin' enormous. Good deal though. We're on our way back. We beat him, at least for now. We've saved ourselves. I like the breaking wood. It kind of reminds me of Uncharted a little bit. They definitely borrowed some Woo! stuff stylistically. Come on, man. Jump. I'm jumping. Woo! Oh no. Face and he's still living and breathing and attacking. Spray that electricity! Ionic Storm. The beasts have drained me, broken my powers. It felt like the end. I almost wish it was. The beast had just put itself back together. And now Empire City is dead. Our ship ran for it, fleeing south to New Marais. People kept their distance, whether from respect or fear. I don't know. Either way, I was alone. Others kept busy, acting out their routines as if it would make the world right again. But I knew better. I'd been... And it wasn't enough. That needed to change. The next day, I went to work. I helped Zeke create a device to focus my powers. Hell, he'd do anything to be friends like we used to be. Agent Quo gathered intelligence on the beast. Town after town was lost as it traveled down the coast. She also used her contacts to requisition a smaller boat. New Moray was in lockdown. Wouldn't let anyone in. We were gonna have to sneak in through the swamp. 
I don't know if you've ever let someone down, got your ass kicked, or straight up failed. But those are the moments that define us. They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices. No matter what the cost. Boom, baby. That's infamous, too. Pretty freaking amazing title introduction there. I like it a lot so far, even though Cole has a gruffer voice than Quick Draw McGraw. What's well, stuck in his throat? Goodness gracious. Hello, Cole. You know, when you go to talk to Wolf, everything is going to become completely... Zeke! Zeke, cut the engines! What's up? Militia blockade. If we get any close in there, artillery will sink us. Well, I guess it's time I go introduce myself. Wait up, man. Here she is. <laughs> And you're sure it's ready? Uh, I hope so. Give her a try. Oh, I'll be damned. Oh. Cool. What is that thing? I call it the amp. Good work, Zeke. Thanks, brother. Go have some fun. This is gonna make a hell of an impression. Hmm, he calls it the amp, I call it the electric pipe demon. Either way, looks like a fun lightsaber-esque weapon, and I think with that, as we enter the Swampland, we'll wrap up this first episode. Part 2 should already be up. And again, remember, all you gotta do is like the video, favorite the video, and leave a comment telling me what you like about this first episode, and we will pick a winner, randomize a winner, a couple days here to get you a copy of Infamous 2 so you can play along with me. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to get more into this amazing game. Have a fantastic day, guys, and until next time, we will see you later.